after the shooting of Illinois State Trooper this morning as Trooper Nicholas Hopkins was serving a warrant in East St. Louis. Investigators are still on the scene collecting evidence after hours of searching. All indications are that authorities found no one else inside that home during an exhaustive search process. Fox News' Katie Corman starting our team coverage this evening. Katie's live from Sioux Hospital in South St. Louis. Katie. Trooper Nicholas Hopkins died here at SLU Hospital just after 6 o'clock this evening. He is the fourth Illinois State Trooper killed in the line of duty this year. Just before 5.30 a.m., Illinois State Police SWAT officers were executing a search warrant at a home on the 1400 block of North 42nd Street in East St. Louis. Trooper Hopkins serving in his SWAT capacity was serving a high-risk warrant in a particularly dangerous area. And he was trying to make that community safer. For every man, woman, and child who lives there. There was an exchange of gunfire. Trooper Nicholas Hopkins was struck and rushed to St. Louis University Hospital where he died at 6:10 p.m. Illinois State Police Acting Director Brendan Kelly says this is the first loss of an ISP SWAT officer in nearly 20 years. ISP has lost more troopers this year than any other year in its history. Kelly thanked all law enforcement, emergency personnel, and medical personnel. In particular, I give my thanks to the troopers who performed CPR for an extended period on their fellow trooper to sustain their brother's life so that his family could see him one last time. 33-year-old Hopkins was a 10-year veteran of ISP, serving most of his career with the SWAT team. He leaves behind a loving wife, three children, three sisters, and two brothers, as well as a family and friends who love him. Kelly called Hopkins a bright light who will continue making a difference long after he is gone. Hopkins is an organ donor who will help as many as 40 people.